Hello everyone. This video introduces how to set up a larger MySQL NDB cluster in a Linux environment. Here we consider a 14 node cluster having one management node, 14 data nodes and one MySQL D node. First, get the source code from GitHub and the link is shown below. Once download is finished, start building the source code from the build directory. Next step is to prepare the configuration files. Two configuration files are required to start the cluster. One, MySQL specific and sample file is shown below, while the other one is a cluster specific. This is the entry for the management node, then the first data node, then the second data node, and, fin uh, and this is the last data node that is the node number 14 and the MySQLD node. Sample configuration files can be downloaded from the reference manual and the link is given below. Next step is to install the MySQLD server. Once the installation is finished, it's the time to start the cluster. The sequence is to start the management node, then all the data nodes and at the end MySQL server. Let's start the management node and you can see that management node is started. Then start all the data nodes and here you can see that uh, all the data nodes are in starting state. Now you can see after some times you can see that all the data nodes are started. Now the st last step is to start the MySQLD server. Now check the status of the MySQLD server. Here it is running. So now cluster is up and running. Let's do some transaction on the cluster. For that we need to connect to the NDB cluster from the MySQL client. Once, cli once the connection is successful, create a database called test1. Let's enable the warnings and create a table T1 having four columns in it. Make sure it is created with an option engine, engine is equal to NDB cluster. Let's do a show table to see table is created. Now insert four records into the table T1. Now check how many rows table T1 has with the command select star from T1. You can see that four rows are created. So here we have successfully set up a larger NDB clusters and completed some transaction on it. For more details, please refer to the reference manual and the link is given shown below. Thank you for watching this video.